YouTube! So today I'm going to do a Loot Crate video for you. It is the Loot Crate for June. I am not going to make this just a straight up unboxing video though. I decided this month to do something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more relevant to my channel. And so for this month's Loot Crate, which has the theme of cyber, I'm going to recommend you a book based on each item in this box. So here we go. Now unfortunately cyber sort of leans toward robots and I have literally never read a book about robots as far as I can remember. And so some of these recommendations are going to be a bit of a stretch but hopefully we will all learn something today. So the first thing in my cyber loot crate box is a couple of Terminator items. There is the, the half scale endo skull. Um, scary and skull like and I think it lights up. Does it light up? Because that would be awesome. Maybe not. There's also this little keychain that's really cool. I have no books that are even remotely related to Terminator, so I went more with the holding a skull in your hand option and decided to recommend to you To Be or Not To Be, A Choosable Path Adventure by Ryan North, William Shakespeare, and you. So this is a fun book by the guy who does Dinosaur Comic, where you get to read an amalgamation of Shakespeare stories, but it's uh, got the title based on Hamlet, which is relevant. And it's like a chooser and adventure, and it's got really cool art all throughout, and it's a lot of fun, and <laughs> that is my first recommendation. Next up, we've got this Borderlands-inspired mouse pad. I clearly don't know very much about Borderlands because uh, my roommate informed me that this is not, in fact, an alien. But I'm gonna go with my original thought that it is an alien, and I'm gonna recommend you Armada by Ernest Klein. This book is actually not quite out yet. It comes out July. This comes out in July. And this is um, Ernest Klein's new book he wrote, Ready Player One. It's like a similar type of story, but it's about a kid who sees a UFO, and I haven't read it yet. I'm recommending it, but I haven't read it yet. It's like really, really high up on my list of books I'm going to be reading soon. This is, of course, an advanced reader copy. Basically, it's about a kid who has to help protect Earth from alien invaders or something like that. Seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Next up is this t-shirt. It is a combination of uh, Optimus Prime and, and Tron. For this item, I decided to recommend to you, of course, Ready Player One, because this is a combination of references that would probably be popular in the same time period that things are popular in Ready Player One. Everything in that book is sort of throwbacks to 80s culture, and this seemed to fit in quite well to that. I feel like this is a shirt that the main character of Ready Player One would probably wear. And so if you haven't read this book yet and you like Loot Crate, actually this book came in a Loot Crate a couple of months ago. So if you haven't read this book, I don't know what you're waiting for. Next up is this sort of just sciency computer circuit bag. I think it's like a pencil case and it's got this little tiny carabiner on the end. Uh, I had nothing for this one, so I decided to just recommend a blue book for you. So I'm going with These Broken Stars. It also takes place in like a spaceship for part of it. Um, it has a lot to do with space for a while in the book and it's very blue, so there you go. And last we have this uh, Battlestar Galactica rain sheet. Um, for range facility use only. This is a little packet that's full of classified documents in the form of, I think, mostly like posters, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I love Battlestar Galactica, and so for this, the book that I'm going to recommend is actually a Battlestar Galactica uh, RPG role-playing game guidebook. This is the core book. We have not actually played this at my house, but we got it kind of recently. It was on sale, hence this red dot right here. Um, and so, me and my roommates are very excited to play this. <laughs> Maybe these will come in handy, actually. Who knows? So there's just a couple of other little items here that I didn't actually match books up to. There's a couple of uh, Nerd HQ stickers and this little uh, patch. Extra fun stuff. Yeah, so this has been my attempt at doing something new with Loot Crate unboxing videos. Let me know if you found it interesting. I feel like this um, might be be a more fun way for the people on my channel to see what I get in Loot Crate boxes. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked it, maybe I'll keep doing them this way. If not, I'll try something else. Whatever. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, if you would like to uh, sign up for Loot Crate and get cool stuff like this delivered to your door, 
The books don't come included, unfortunately. Those were mine. But you can sign up below and you'll get a little discount for using my code to sign up. Also, if you're interested in any of the books I talked about in this video, if you use my book depository affiliate link down below, I get a little bit of a commission for you buying the books that I talked about. Or there's also the Audible deal that every other YouTuber talks about. If you'd prefer to listen to these books, you can sign up and get a free audiobook on Audible down below. Anyway, this has been Loot Crate unboxing for June Cyber. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.